Hi guys, welcome to Celeb Villa SA, where you get the latest news on all things trending and newsworthy. Now, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit that bell so you never miss any of my uploads. Things got quite interesting when Ino Murlong went on live, where it seemed as though she was throwing shade at Doramongi after allegations were made that Doramongi wears counterfeit products. Now, Ino was sure to say this had nothing to do with her, but she stayed on are talking about the rolex which made dora trend and eventually forced her to pop it in some water to prove that it is indeed a real one musa kaula joined ino's life a lot of names came flowing musa was sure to throw shade each and every single chance he got as various people within the entertainment industry found themselves having their names pop up during ino morolong and musa kaula's instagram live no, not everybody likes to post or to unbox but a rolex this is a friend of mine, a white friend of mine. She bought a Rolex, um, I think 420K. I said, babe, I know you don't like to post, but if you better buy a Rolex, you better go to that store, sign and post the receipt. Easy. People be off your neck. So, guys, I'm, I'm not involved in the drama about the Rolex, about the jewelry. I mean, honey. If I cannot afford a Rolex, I will not put it on. I'll be fine. My skin is glowing. My skin is popping. I will not die. I will not wear fake. I will stick to normal brands. Um, no, 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 guys. I am not being spicy. I'm, I mean, I saw the trending. I saw the trend. Go inside. If I buy a Rolex, honey, um anyone that wants to sponsor me if you want to buy in a more longer road like honey come we'll go to the store i was at i mean even the shoes that i'm wearing the shoes were a gift uh this guy friend of mine bought me these shoes i think two years ago something like that yeah he was like you know i've got i've got two dnt shoes I come to the store collected like most of my clothes when i get them like it's mostly gifts so but my friends will not just gift me and be like Here's Dolce & Gabbana shoes, here's, here's LV sneakers, here's Gucci sneakers. Even with my ex, when, when we're still together, he was like, here's a card, go to the store, buy what you want. We buy, we unwrap. That's how it is. We buy, we unwrap, easy. Since we are influencers, but I would like to still explain, I'm not just an influencer, I'm not just an Instagram girl, guys. These levels. I am on show, Max. I am a mainstream girl. To explain mainstream is somebody watching the you know, these levels. <sighs> Guys, I'm not here to throw shade at anyone. I feel like most people go online. Uh, guys, don't ever complain about my accent. It can switch anytime. Y'all need to remember that. I have honest degree. Honors decree and communication so honey i can change my accent anytime i want so honeys to the honeys that are like me no jewelry guys please don't don't put yourself under pressure to go and buy the fake if you, you can't afford real jewelry so where were we? We were we were there where we're talking about unwrapping. Honey, your faves, they unwrap. I don't know if I should advise or love my outfit, thank you. I don't know if I should advise or address. I think I should advise people. Um how can I say this? It's okay to have few few designer. It's okay. Because they will last you for life. Few real designer. Then mixing. I know a lot of people that mix. Guys, I haven't shopped in so long. I haven't. Then I'm okay. Because I've got other other priorities. And the guys remember my single mom. So, do not allow Instagram to put pressure on you. Society, are you guys listening? Are you guys listening? 
are you guys listening? I'm just giving people advice. I've seen a trend, you know, people under pressure. What about, let me make an example. I don't have a, I mean, every girl loves jewelry. Every girl loves flowers. Every girl loves, loves nice things. So let's talk about, let's say, Rolex. Do you know how many of my, my let me say, Nigerian friends that are in South Africa that, that hustle so hard to buy real Rolex that have receipts and everything? And then Rolex gang comes. They take it. So imagine girls having pressure. There's others that I know that 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 is it's, how can i put it me i'm a straight talker i'm, I'm gonna tell you guys how it is i know girls that have real ones that have real ones that have certificates that i know that yo this girl had to fuck so many guys to buy this rolex so do you want to be that girl no but it's up to them i'm not judging anyone i'm just addressing that and then you buy it a role that you have pressure. The next thing, you're not sleeping good at night. The next thing, Rolex gang comes and attack you and take the Rolex. What happens when he's gone? What happens? I've got a lot of uh, my foreign friends that have been through so much. Guys, can I address something? Don't come on my live video and mention Doro. I am not talking about Doro Monji. I am addressing what has been going on the whole week. Because a lot of people have been asking me, what do you think about Rolex? Why don't you have a Rolex? Why don't you have a Rolex? I can mention a lot of influencers, a lot of celebrities that have, not a lot, actually, it's few that have real Rolexes. So I'm like, guys, can't you see I'm happy? My skin is popping. My nails are nice. I'm keen. I'm fine. My hair is fine. My skin is moving. So if I don't have any pressure to own a Rolex, if, if, if I have to own a Rolex, it must be real, or I must be very comfortable, or it must be a gift. And if it's a gift, that person must call me to the store. The person must call me to the store and be like, you know, I bought you a Rolex. I want people to relax. Guys, understand blogs, understand the gossip. Musa always slayed me online and my ex and my everything. But I'm not angry. <laughs> that fucked up ex of yours. Charmy, come that closer. That fucked up ex of yours, Charmy. Come closer. I'm all the way here. Like, all the way. I am so here. You look nice. Friend, I see you going live with a lot of people and then people were scared of you. People are so two-faced, two yeah? I have... Tommy. I feel like I've been the only person and I saw Dr. Maweni was also going on your spaces, which is good. And mm -hmm. then also going on your spaces. I remember. But people, on, when you were on Twitter, people were always talking shit about you. Now you are, now you are on Instagram. People are two-faced, yeah? I'm like, honey! Like, what is happening? Like, and what is know, happening? The funny thing is, you know your people. And I know exactly. your people. Tommy, <laughs> you, you, you are my friend in my head, okay? Like, it is what it is. Like, so, you know? Musa, I've been getting this a lot of my comments. People want you to address people that wear fake. And I'm a fake role. Like, what is... What is... Just comment on that. I think I did comment earlier on that. Mm -hmm. Well, Tommy, but you know that, obviously, number one, you know, the South African celebrities don't got coins. They're struggling. And I'll explain. Imagine, Tommy, imagine, you know, think about this. You know, there's like A-list celebrities, B-list, and then there's the classism when it comes to celebrityhood, right? And they imagine... And there's also Instagram girls. There's others that are yes. not... They are just Instagram girls. Yep. And then, l let me explain. So, what I find disturbing, like, Pearl Tusi, for example, she regards herself as an A-list celebrity. She wants to be seen as an A-list celebrity, but club hosting is a D-list. If you regard yourself as a celebrity, when you, like, D-list... E list at the back of the list, then you do that. But if you A list, you have no business sharing 
jobs with you know what I'm trying to say. Tommy, no! <laughs> so, I mean, that's that's the problem. I'm like, you wanna be you wanna give yourself this high standard, like you don't got it. If you still have to, like, you know, us, it's fine, we do it, it's our shade, it's our work. But if you're gonna regard yourself and wanna be seen as an A lister, then fucking behave like one. You can't be still hosting every day. Okay. You can host like in, in that one moment. Block. Sorry, Chubby. Sorry to disturb you. I, I blocked somebody saying shit about us. I'm going to block those that are saying, Chubby, they're saying you have one t-shirt. Should I block the person? Block that motherfucker. They're they saying you have one t-shirt. Block that motherfucker. Block. I love your chest, honey. That. Yeah, continue. Mommy, Sorry. Let Ooh, I love your tattoo. Tell me, I need somebody to, to help me to cover up my tattoo. I mean, where's your tattoo? <laughs> is, no, I was listen, I was smart when I did the tattoo. I will tell you you wrote that nigga was, name. The, the tattoo is about me. And then down there I had to write a small and a message to, mm -hmm. to make the that the person feel, oh, you know, come closer, uh -huh. come closer. I want I'm to here, Tommy. Like, I, literally. Tommy, all, all the way here. Have it why I did that tattoo. But I mm -hmm. always play reverse psychology. People would think, you know, it's stupid. I'm not stupid. I knew why I wrote mm -hmm. that name in small letters. I already knew. Because you're going to cover that shit up. I already left the relationship before it ended. I'm a very mm -hmm. girl. I left the relationship. But tell me, where, where is that fake pastor? Where is he now? He's in Cape Town. No. He's getting people in Cape Town. Turkey's no. Um, he's in Cape Town. Mm. Move there like permanently or what? I'm Are you still talking to him? I can't say much. I can't say. But this is not even about him. It's just mm -hmm. about, about women need to be smart in relationships. Women need to be smart a man can use it for cloud. A man, I already, mm -hmm. I've never dated a man. Like, like that Tapiwa. Tapiwa I've, used the shit out of you. I've never dated a man that will tell me every time, like, post me, post me. What kind of rubbish is that? What kind mm -hmm. of rubbish is that? What kind of fame hunting is that? But Tommy, where did you get him? Because he looks scary. Like, where the hell did you get that man? <laughs> Tommy, I was hosting in Pretoria at a place. Mm. I can't remember the place in Pretoria. And I was in mm. Eva. The guy came like creepy vibes, and we had two bouncers on my table. It was mm -hmm. just and two of my girls. So he came, he's like, Can I please have a picture with you? Can I send you a bottle? Already, so he was I, a fan, honey. I had bottles on my table, I had big bottles mm -hmm. on my table. Then he came. Moral of the story is, I know maybe some people are gonna call him to watch this live video. I am not fighting with my ex, and I will not fight him. Musa is asking me stories, and I'm explaining. Because I know there's so many snitches on my last video. And it's Fuck very that. sad, you know? So all I want to say is, it was too much. And, you know, I, I've never, I don't want, even the, the man I'm dating now is on Instagram. It's not on Instagram. You got a new man. That's why you're out in the world. <laughs> <laughs> my man is on Instagram. I don't want any man that's on Instagram. If you're an Instagram guy, I'm a date you for fun. Mm -hmm. My site nigga. If you're gonna be on Instagram, so I dated the guy, and then every time told me we are out, so he was always playing all these dates to be seen. Uh huh. To be seen. Tell me, but but what? Well, I'm I'm glad I'm glad you left his struggling ass. That's number one. And now, you know, you got you in your situation. But I want to ask, well, I'm wanting to just, you know, uh, Babala is having that party where everybody's invited. Well, I'm not invited. She was never going to invite me, but are you invited? I am not. You are my friend. Tell me. I am not going to talk about Bob's. Yeah, she's just closing. Let's go to the next. But are you invited? Yes or no? I'm not going to answer anything regarding the person. I don't want drama because we work in the same space and we are both our madam of the industry. So I will not be addressing her with Musa Kaula. Let's move to the next question. But so I just wanted to know if you got invited because everybody got the invitation. I just want to know if you'll be in the country because I'm trying to score me an invitation. I, I'm, not, I'm not coming back to South Africa anytime soon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
this event. I think it's on the 8th of December, Don Tony. Do you know anything about it? I don't know anything about it. Please cut, move to the next question. What? But I'm just wanting to know, these are your friends. If you can't even answer. Then it's because I'm that kind of person. I will not be discussing people, whether they, I regard them or they regard me as a friend. I cannot be discussing them on a live video with Musa Kaula. I don't want people to be scared of me now that I'm addressing their events or their friendships on a live video with Musa Kaula. You know, but charming. But that's fine. But then there is Doro, right? Doro and Bunte. Then there was fighting. And then I think Doro was throwing, like, what's your relationship with Doro? Are your friends? What is happening? You gotta answer something. Like, when's the line? Because I don't know if you're like friends or what is happening. It seems very toxic. You are funny, Musa. Why are you? You were live with Doro. Why didn't you ask her that? Because I could cut out. I could cut out. I wanted to ask her. And then, you know, tell me, wait, fine. If, if you're not going to answer, then you know that, that, that the right to right. That Larato Hanya, right? That Bonang lied. I'm not going to talk about Larato because she's so sweet to me. And then the history I don't post when uh, I was with Larato two weeks ago at an event. So, but did she say her marriage is failing? Tell me, did I you can't ask her? So I can't talk about any big celebrity here. Maybe talk about any enemy of mine, but I can't. Dora Mongi, let's talk about Dora then. Dora is not my enemy. So you and you are friends with Dora? You should have asked her that when you're live with her. I'm asking you. You were live with Doro. Why didn't you ask her? She so, asked Anita her. got cut out. You know what the danger is? You know where the danger so is? It, so you mean, well, I am the danger. So you mean, if I would invite you and Doro to come to my studio, both of you would come? Yeah, I don't have a problem because with Because you're friends. I had a problem with Doro. Even the day you and Doro were live, I was live with Doro. So, uh -huh, okay. Problem? Musa, <laughs> like Babala is like from the past. Remember, you spoke about uh -uh. how everyone she is. She is from the past. So I'm saying, I'll explain. Wait, Don't give me a chance. About I'll explain. Mm -hmm. Don't no, talk. Talk about somebody else. Talk about talk about those people that like to talk shit on my life. Don't talk about Bob. Bob is the queen. Why? Babs is what? Because you wanna you wanna get invited to the thing? No, honey. To the I'll, party. I'll be I'll be, ch I'll be chasing Sama, honey. Tommy, but you know that I saw the invitation to her thing. By the way, so I seen it. It's not even giving. It's just a poster. You know the regular posters that. Get a refill. It's not even like a proper invitation. She like, oh, that thing is. VIP in Don Doni when you get to her stories, baby. And then when I sent the invitation, I was like, what? It's just like a regular club thing. You know, there is like that number. I think it's Jimmy's number at the bottom. It's fine, Jimmy, get your drink on. But I'm telling you what I sent. You can't be talking about Bob's on my live video because Bob's is never, guys, anyone that's recording this. Bob's, Bob's is not my friend. I don't give a shit about Bob's her talked about me on her life so why are you talking about Bob? i'm telling you about the invitation i don't want to not invitation. leave bobs out of this well i send the invitation and it's not I giving talk about something else okay. i'm just saying that's not shade it's just a poster <laughs> Musa, and i'm like what is this uh, wait is babala giving you sleepless nights what has bob done to you leave um from the past I would, have, I would have expected better from her. She is from the past. What has Bob's done to you? Leave her. Show me. Let's talk about other things. Yes, okay, but my, my... okay, final question. Then we can talk about something else. Go, 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 go. Final question about Bob's and then we move on. So One awesome. last question. I will... You can decide to answer it or not. But is, it, is she like a pimp? Like, I never... What's your take? Never, uh uh. I've never heard anyone saying they were, they were pimped by, by, by. But Tommy, the rumors have been like stuck for like so long. She can't shake these rumors the, off. 
They say rumors, but I don't know. But not case that human trafficking. It's kind of case that those things. I'm kind of rich. So if I feel like if Lena and Alueta, I'm kind of like guys. Stop How does she make her money? Stop, stop making ridiculous rumors about people, guys. How does she make her money? Because it's not like she's modeling. She says she's a model. But ask her. Should I? She doesn't model anyway. Like I'm asking, how does she make her money? She's your friend. You've got she doesn't it. host like you do. How does she make her money then? You, I don't ask her. You've got a DM. She's your friend. She's your friend. I, I, I don't think I don't I, I don't call in. I don't have I don't want to have friends. I've got people that I work with that I see in the street and then say hello. Bye bye. So. Please. But did you see her go to work? Sorry. Where does she work? Where does huh? she work? Well, she has the salon, but where does she make her money? How? I ask her, Musa. What are you asking me? So, this is your friend. She's somebody I see in the club. Don't do like this. Oh, Don't... but I thought you all, you all was friends. Musa, well, it's fun that... then. Musa, what, what is it that you have against Bob? It's like you've got... I don't have nothing. I'm just asking as a concerned citizen. No, you don't bring Twitter on Instagram. Instagram <laughs> real, honey. No, I'm not bringing nothing. Please I'm make not bringing nothing. Wrong. wrong. I want strong drink. I need me a strong drink. <laughs> My word. Uh -huh. But hmm. tell me what. So, so guys, um. I just recently followed this woman, Mam Kize Owad. I love her. I feel like oh, that woman is a bad. I do, but you know she had her body done, right? No, she panic. Mm-hmm. Tommy, she had her body in, but remember then she was married to that to the traffic cop, useless man, right? And I then now. <laughs> Let's not talk about Bob and Keys. I don't want to be talking about powerful people. But Tommy, you brought Let's it up. Let's people. Um, let's talk about something else. Um, Ooh. the feather. How was the feather awards? I don't want to talk about that fucking feathers. I want to talk about Mam I I can't talk about Mam because I don't know her from a bar soap, and I feel like she's a pretty queen. <laughs> is she pretty though, or she's just rage? I feel like she's a natural. Like, be honest. See her with makeup. All of us, Musa, like now, I don't have like makeup. You can see even my my. So I feel like I'm normal. I feel like mm. also with her. You she look nice. Normal if she doesn't have like a deep face beat. That's how we are as women. With a full face beat, that woman is beautiful. Mom kiss it. Yeah. And guys, whoever. Well, she is, that, but without what, it. Everyone that's without watching it, this video, we were right. Mom kiss it. My mom kiss it. Me, I love you, mama. 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 I love me some mama as well. Um, but is she a pretty woman? What do you think? I love her. When you see her, do you like, you know, she pretty? Because obviously she got the money and she nice. But when you look at it, do you think, wow? I think, what? And like when you see her, do you think, what a pretty woman? Or you think, what a Timiswayo thing? Like, I don't know. I, but if I see my kids, I'll think she's pretty. <laughs> you are crazy. <laughs> so I'm just asking. Well, I love her. Like, I absolutely love her. But. So what do you think about Tommy? Cicero? What do you think about Cicero? I think she smokes drugs. What do you think? The website is ready to Tommy, you heard that everyone was talking. <laughs> they have all since ten. Tom, I didn't. What did you say? I didn't. What did you say about But Tommy, wait, hold on. Like, hold on. Like, hold on. You know then, she was at the weed bank, right? 
and then she was seen against Umkunye. So we are Umkunye in Tony. Guys, I even hate. I've heard, I've heard about uh, Umkunye or whatever, uh, about the Durban one. Umkunye Tony is ecstasy. Do you take ecstasy? Because yep. Tello does. Tommy. <laughs> well, everybody talking. It's not my fault. Thank you. But Tom, I had. You've had it is a what? I have never tasted it. I had. God, you know, yo, it's not my fault. But do you know that? Wait. But Tommy, do you know that? That hair manager called me and threatened the shit out of me. I am very mad. Okay, I'm trying to pop this shit. Okay. Tommy, that manager called me. I forgot his name. And then he was like, do you know how much I invested on this Taylor? And I'm not going to let you, like, ruin her career. Okay. But I'm like... I'm, I just blocked some like I think those things. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, block and the Yeah, I'm listening to so you. Let me tell you. Mm. And then that nigga, the nerve of him. And then he like, excuse me, he invested like a lot of money on Stello and I'm asking, oh, that looks nice. I'm asking talk shit about Stello, but I'm like, sir, you're threatening me. Hmm? Long Island. It's nice. It, lo it looks nice. So anyway, this nigga, and then I'm like, are you threatening me? Don't tell me. And then this guy like, yeah, take it the way that you do. But I'm like, no, it's not my fault to go to like everywhere and then she gets seen smoking or drink how the fuck do you take it do you smoke it do you drink it the way she does and then she taking it and then now i must get threatened because she's reckless about your drug take so uh, uh i didn't take that lightly i didn't like that it's not my fault it's not my fucking fault but yeah but do you think you know, like these are your friends, and y'all smoke drugs in the club. Do I'm, not I'm not friends with this I'm, I'm, I'm But not, I mean, your other friends. Because obviously, friends. she's me, not the only one. Let me tell you one thing about Zitelo. I don't know who Zitelo is. Mm. I only, and me and Zitelo have never had a conversation. We only met long time before Zitelo became who she is today. I met Zitelo. Like what you mean? Like recently, <laughs> when you got her body done. <laughs> I met Zitelo many years ago when Ayepia Pretoria was opening. Musa, you need to, be, to understand when you're talking to me, you're talking to her legend. You're not talking yes. to a girl that just got into the game. I knew Zitelo mm. when through Eva, but I didn't know her like, we don't know each other. But I knew her when, before she could even think or dream of being a DJ, or she was in the crowd. Eva was like, that's Zitelo. And that's um, Lord Seals, baby. Oh, tiny. Baby. Let me mm -hmm. blocking other people. So I didn't know who is the tailor. And then until Eva, Eva was like, is the tailor? Lord feels baby. That, that was, baby. sorry guys. It's Huasang. Mm. So that's when I, uh, I'm like, oh, but she looks so random. Like she wouldn't, she wouldn't even have makeup on. She would just go out wearing a white vest. <laughs> that like, she was looking so fucking dumb. And then mm -hmm. she, she was like in the crowd like this. <laughs> Before she could dream of being a dude. And that time we got serious invitation on check. Uh, but I was there with Eva. Eva got an invitation because Eva is a very good relationship with, 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 with DJ somebody. Working relationship though. So, DJ somebody is fed. Mm. No, nah, please stop it. DJ somebody is a nice person. Don't stop. But he's fed. He's a nice fed somebody. <laughs> At least he's a somebody. Anyway, um, so I don't have any, me. I don't have any. But okay, somebody was asking me that about what what is what is your view on on this girl? I feel like Citello is so hurt. Mm. I don't know, guys. Whoever that's recording this, that's going to send it to Citello. Send this important part. 
Si Taylor, hello. This is Ina Murlong. I've never had any conversation with you. I do not know you like that. I just only met you when you were part of the groupies in Pretoria when Ayepip was opening. Eva introduced me to you and then Eva booked you to be one of her models, Pretty Much Cosmetics, and she paid you 10K. So you were basically Eva's girl. Anyway, mm -hmm. I do not have a problem with you, honey. And um, as a, as a woman, I see your story. You you so vocal, like wrecking me. people's marriages. Her story, yes, that's her story. She wrecked Lord Phil's marriage. Isn't that her story? Well, but she did. But Tommy, she did. Mm -mm -mm -mm. She fucking did. And, and I wanted to ask you... The funny... Okay, I wanted to finish. Is that people will send and say, you know, as I'm, people need to get it. She tell her, I don't have anything against you. I don't have anything against you, but you have your life out there. So we as... Me, people know me. I'm not a blogger. I'm not a gossiper. So what? But I can address things that are going online that people are posting, and then I can talk about them. So, yes, we are talking about that. We are hmm. talking about things that they post online. I feel like at this point, Sitelo is acting to be happy. She's not happy. When I look at the pictures, I see pain. I see I pain because of what happened, having a baby with this guy, and then the guy huh. drops for a better girl. It's not even about a better girl. It's about you. It's like now, I don't give a shit what my ex does or my ex does because I don't have babies with them. And then I feel like somebody like me, I, I'm like, guess what? I'm like a Wendy Williams. I don't give a shit. I've had a baby daddy with somebody that was so big, that was so rich. They were rich. And I never, he even had a baby with someone else, but I was never broken. I, oh, I never... Where are we? We talk about a lot of things. Musa, guess what? You know what I like about us? Wait, come here. Come, mm. come closer. Come. I'm like literally here. So I'm going to fall off my you know, seat now. I like can about, literally... You know what I like? Edge. This is how conversation is. The last time when you're with a life with wannabe gossipers, it wasn't giving. You even called me. You're like, you know, I was so bored in the live video. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Not you throwing shade. Not I'm you the, throw it shade. It's, it's the truth. Not you, Tommy. But I want to get. I want to like. I want to pick your brain on. You know that Lord Phil, right? Have you met Lord Phil? I've, Do you know him? I don't. I've I've just seen him. I've just seen the guy. Um, I don't, guys. I don't want to talk about about Lord Phil because they. Please, no. They will assassinate you. Tommy, they will fetch me. I don't want to be they will assassinate your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that will get you. But I had. I can wait. But I heard that. Mm, Tommy, I heard that he's in the presidential cartel. He's also one of the members in that. Musa, in cut, that cartel. Cut, cut. Cut. You can't. But Tommy. I don't want to get killed. Musa, bye bye. Bye bye. Change the topic. Change the wait, topic. wait. Change the But topic. wait, let no. me tell you. Those people are my I don't want to die. No, out. Tommy, but wait, wait. Hold on. Do you know that guy? There's this guy at the cartel. And then, well, I met him like last week, right? <laughs> <laughs> But I, wait, Tommy. Hold on. No, no, wait. There's no joke. I can't be talking about guys that I don't know. I don't know those guys. And guys, I but don't I know. am telling you, I met them last week. Musa, Musa, can I catch you? I, I met them last week. I don't know anything about. Hey, Chris. I don't know anything about South African guys. I just know that those people you don't talk about them. So I'm gonna talk about them, and I don't care. Okay, about don't them. talk about them. I'll talk about them. I'm gonna tell you what I seen. Right, or oh, what that one said, Tommy. Wait, though, that no, one in record, and they won't understand those people. You can see their heart, they won't know what you were talking about. They will think, but Tommy, there's that one that got shot nine times. I want to talk about that one. Most I'm gonna end Tommy, my but... I'm gonna end my life now. I know you won't, so you know it. you won't. It's a topic, change it. Okay, fine, but he still got shot nine times.
And Musa, then you made me feel I don't want to protect me, protect me. No, Musa, don't talk about those people. I'm gonna Musa. <laughs> So, I want to back on Fitello. Was she dating Mr. Jay Z Q? Well, I think they had a situation. Mm -hmm. I think they had a situation, and I, I don't know. I think what I think about Jay Z, like, I think his nose or something. He what? I don't. Know. But when you look at his lips, they like so thick. He looks like he fucking snores. I had to leave my other relate. I actually, I feel like most guys. These niggas know. Guys, if you're a guy and you don't snore, please DM me. I'm tired of being with niggas that snore. Fuck that shit. Fuck you are high, me. snoring. Oh, okay, it's bad. Please, guys, I need a guy that doesn't snore. Honestly. Some people snores then. Don't snore. Come, come to my DM, Ed, but if you have money. If you have money. But don't you have a man then? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm not joking. I don't guys, I don't have men. I don't have men. Um maybe I have, maybe I don't. But I'm having fun. I don't belong to any guy. Mm-hmm. I do not belong. Not after you tattooed Tapiwa's name, then you don't belong I'm a, to I'm any a guy, tattoo so. another man. What was name, that? Even on my breast here. Or where mm -hmm. his own name. I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tattoo another guy's name under his name but i'm gonna put something on his name so if you're a guy but you need to cover up Tabula's wait, name wait, first let me let me promote myself on my own life if you're a man you have money you are willing to take care of me and you don't snore you must be a man you must be willing to pay for my trips and you're not coming with me to my trips and you're not gonna force me to post you on instagram fucking dm me fucking dm me and then if you want me to tattoo your name on my body, that's gonna be two hundred thousand. I will write yes, it. Baby. You want me to write two hundred k? I will tattoo your name on my body and say I love you forever, my husband. Then we have a arranged relationship. I deal with arranged relationships only now, honey. But this tell me. Of, of a man, I used to love somebody. I used to love the person. I used to love him so much. The man cheated on me the man cheated on me with dirty girls so many dirty girls a lot of dirty dirty can i scream dirty okay scream dirty say dirty say dirty Tommy, remember that part when remember not this guy not this tabiwa guy and then that ex of yours that was also leaving off you and then Deboho came, and then when you were sleeping, then Deboho was wanting to have sex with your man. That part, right? That part, right? And then there was also your friend, your white friend that slept on the couch. And then Deboho Tobijanis sneaked in your bedroom, Tommy, to try and have sex with your man while you were sleeping with him on the bed, right? You mean that kind of dirty? Because I remember that part. You are crazy. Like, I remember that part, Tommy. It happened. It happened. Are, are you still friends with Deboho, though? Unfortunately, um, I feel like people got tired of my drama and her drama. It's not even given anymore. Yeah, but you still wanted to have sex with your man while you were in the house. I haven't forgiven that. I haven't forgotten that she wanted to do things like that. Then never she with that botched face. <laughs>